Hello, this is Amanda Dimideros with Esri Canada, and today we'll be demoing migrating enterprise content between two portals. Many enterprise administrators have a test, development, and a production environment, where a user will test a web application they created in a test portal before deploying it on the production environment. Creating the web application multiple times between the environments could be a hassle. Using a simple ArcGIS API for Python script, we could run this code in a standalone Jupyter Notebook. However, I want to take this opportunity to highlight a new feature starting in ArcGIS Pro 2.5, where we could run the script with an already built-in Jupyter Notebook. And right now you can see that I have my notebook open, just a plain, simple notebook, where I have my ArcGIS Python script. In the first line here, I have my portal number one, where is my source portal for my web application. It has my username and password, and then it will go to my destination portal, portal number two, where I need a username and a password. And then it'll ask for the web application ID. This is the web app ID that you're wishing to copy over. Now, if I go into my pro, if you haven't already learned how to create a new notebook, just open Pro, go to the Insert tab, and click New Notebook here. This will create a new notebook for your project. I've already created one, so I'm going to switch over to my notebook where I've copied my script in, and I've already filled out my source portal and my destination portal with their respect respective username and passwords. And then I put the ID in here. If I go into my portal number one, you will see I have my web application, my web map, and my feature layer. I want to copy all of this information into my portal two. If I switch over to my portal two, you could see that it's not there right now. And to get that web application ID, just click into your web app, and you will see right in the URL bar, the ID that I've copied over and put it into my script. So if I pop back over to my pro, now that I have it in my ID here, all I have to do is hit the run button. This will start my code, and I already have a print service saying it's running code. This will work for out-of-the-box web applications. Example, those being configured as an application template, such as Web App Builder or any of our other templates that we have to offer that are out of the box. This will not support cloning of non-hosted feature services, map services, tile layers, and scene layers. If any of those items are referenced in the web map, the web map will be cloned, the item will be cloned, but the item will still reference the original service. So it won't take that deep copy and create a new URL for it. It'll still be referencing portal one and you'll have to switch over that reference. If you update portal one's web app or the data or the map itself, and you hit run the script again, it will not update the destination portals items. So if you do wish to create a new web app or change it in some sort of way, you'll have to delete it out of portal two and run the code again for it to do that deep copy. As you can see, it finished cloning here. So once it's done, I want to confirm that the web application, any widgets, the web map, and the hosted layers were actually copied over successfully and all the references were updated. So let's go back to my portal two. As you can see, portal one has this URL here. Check here to make sure that your destination portal's URL has actually updated. If I switch over to my portal two, give this page a refresh. You can see that the three items now, the web app, the web map, and the feature layer that was hosted from portal one has now been copied over to portal two. I'm going to open this up and make sure that everything looks right. Again, scroll down to make sure that the URL is now the new URL. I can see that it is. And then I will want to view the application in itself to make sure it's working. 
So this is the application that I copied over. Ensure that all of the references did indeed reference over into the new URL. If you notice that it didn't change, it might be because it is a non-hosted feature service, a map service, a tile layer, or a scene layer, as I mentioned before. And this concludes the demonstration. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video and feel free to leave any comments or suggestions below. And if you would like to see more Esri Canada demos, you can hit the subscribe button to our channel using the subscribe button below the video. Thank you for joining me.